Okay, it's time for our final off the record parting shots. Ray Miller, you're first. Um, parting shot. I, I uh, don't think that uh, the president of the United States is going to make it uh, through this process with the uh, with the special prosecutor that they have brought on. Uh, I think the re resolution is going to be far sooner than it's ever been before uh, with these kinds of issues. So look for six months and he's out. Oh, Gene Krebs. Oh, my uh, D sources tell me that Sherrod Brown is backing Nan Whaley, but uh, the five old labor guys who run the Ohio Democratic Party are backing um, Betty Sutton. And if Sutton is the nominee, I think we're looking at another Fitzgerald um, type of race. It will, it will be, it will be an absolute wipe, then of the D's in Ohio. Hmm. Julie Carr Smythe. <laughs> I'm not going to look too much past the the president's first international trip since he's been president. Uh, at a time when there are all kinds of things swirling around uh, information provided by the. Israeli intelligence that that was leaked in the Oval Office uh, and just basically trying to keep our heads down in the press or keep our ears out. This is these are great times for the press. What are you talking about? <laughs> Mental whiplash. I'm, times. Exactly. <laughs> I'm waiting this next week for to see the CBO report on the House passed health care bills coming out. This is going to tell us exactly how much money is going to be taken out of the system and how many people are going to lose insurance. It's probably going to be a little higher than the original numbers we saw in the first House bill. So I think that's going to put the health care issue back in the spotlight again. Hmm. Here's my uh, look forward. I'm not going to look forward more than two days until uh, Mike Thompson returns to, uh, to the airwaves uh, and, and uh, take, takes over for me. I want to thank uh, 